Hello Aquarius, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you, ready to do your tarot reading for the week of February 12th through February 18th. And um, I've this is a general reading, please keep that in mind. If you want your own personal reading, I'll talk to you about that at the end of the video. But let's go ahead and get started. I've already drawn your cards. This is a tough week. I feel like for you, um, Aquarius, that there's something going on uh, that has to do with money. It could be a business partnership, could have something to do with business, um, but you're having, by the end of the week, if you're not already there, you're going to have to make a decision. The Eight of Wands is in reverse, and it's like you feel trapped. There's something that you're feeling, making you feel trapped. Wands is about work. Then we also have the Three of Laurels in reverse. There is no... Um, no unity it's like a feeling of whatever it is that you're doing for money or uh, work whatever you feel a loss of unity I feel like there could be like a, uh, a breakup and business partnership uh, maybe a loss of a job uh, there's a loss of something um, again this is a general reading so you got to pick your story it could be a marriage for all I know um, that, that I'm talking about Pick your story. Um, but yeah, there's been a feeling of, of just being trapped. And then the three of laurels is telling me that you're ready to, even though you don't want to see it happen, but it's almost like you're ready to just let go. You know, um, I, there's an old saying, you know, and I'm sure you've heard it a million times. When one door closes, another door opens and everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. The Two of Swords, you got to make a decision. And you're having a difficult time making a decision, but you're going to do it. Uh, you got to make the right decision. Uh, let me just say this to you. With these two cards here, the, uh, the Eight of Wands and the Three of uh, Laurels in reverse, it's telling me that um, there may be something going on, some sort of a conflict with somebody or something. I know, like, I worked at a job one time, and this is years ago, and I made pretty good money. I mean, I, I made real good money, but I, it was like I was being used, and the guy that owned the business, he just tolerated me. He did not like, he didn't like women working for him. That was, he just want, he wanted a young guys that he could train his way and that he could get them to work for pennies. You know, they would make good money, but they would work seven days a week, you know, and he wanted them to, he, he wanted to, to uh, use, he, he wanted them to be their puppets. And I, being oh, I was in my 50s at the time. I am nobody's puppet, so I wasn't going to let him treat me that way. <laughs> and and I pretty much let him know that too. And it just came to the point where he it it just got really hard to work for him. And so I quit out of the blue. I just you know I mean I was I was making okay money at by the time I quit. Before I I mean. There was a time when I made really good money, um, but then as he started doing other things um, that I didn't think were very cool, I was not as committed to the job and I wasn't making as much money. And so I had to make a decision to leave. And and it wasn't easy because I, I, was, I was on my own, I was having to uh, figure out how to make my own money. You know, I didn't have a job, in other words. Um, so I kind of feel like there's something like that going on with some of you out there. It's like you're having to make a decision because you haven't, one, been being treated right on your job or in a partnership or whatever. And uh, it, it's just, it, it hasn't been working out. There's no unity there. There's, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like a butting of heads. And it's time for you to make a decision what you're going to do next. Because if you stay there, you're going to continue to be treated. Uh, or, you, or if you stay in whatever, it could be a relationship we're talking about. Again, general reading here. But 
if you continue to stay, you're going to continue to be taken advantage of. So, you know, I always say uh, there, there's three components everybody must bring to the table. Self-love, self-respect, and integrity. And when you treat yourself with those three components, um, both parties have to bring that to the table. And if any of those components are missing, the relationship or whatever it is, business, partnership, whatever, it's not going to work out if just one component is missing. Um, this, the man that I had worked for, I mean, he didn't have, his level of integrity and my level of integrity were two different things. So I knew it was time. There was something that came up where I saw that he was, he didn't have a problem ripping somebody off for $500 or something like that. And it was time. I was like, okay, I know I need to exit out of here. So I feel like with, with you, you're, you're in a bind where you're having to make a decision, uh, something very similar to that. Again, it could be a relationship, but whatever the case may be, there's been a loss of something, a loss of integrity, um, loss of trust. Um, uh, there could be uh, boundaries being stepped over, and so now you're trying to figure out what to do. But you know what? Uh, there is when I talk about the two of swords there's never any wrong way there's never any wrong decision if you choose not to leave the situation um, and stay it doesn't necessarily mean that you've made the wrong decision it just means that you haven't learned the lesson yet that you need to learn so that you can move into the next journey or the next chapter of your life you still have to be there to learn some more and, and and that's okay but if you decide to leave that that signifies that you know there's something new waiting for you and you're ready to move forward you know you've learned what you needed to learn from whatever the experience was so that you can move forward so that's why I say there's never a right or wrong decision um, you know women that that stay in relationships that are abusive or they know that they shouldn't be in these relationships um, I have a friend who has been in and out of a relationship with somebody for a while right now she's kind of on the outs but uh, she'll she'll end up getting back with him in some way or another and, and if she does it, it it's okay because she just hasn't learned what she needs to learn to, you know, um, embrace self-love and self-respect and integrity. And it'll, he'll end up, if they do get back together, he'll end up doing something really shitty to her like he did the last time. And hopefully this time she'll get the, she'll get the lesson. She'll be ready to move on. But anyway, that's all I'm trying to tell you is that it, there's no right or wrong decision so make your decision and go with it so anyway i hope this helps uh if you want your own personal reading all you got to do is go down to the box below my website is there if you want to get your own personal reading every month uh you can do that uh with me uh by joining be, becoming a member of my patreon page and uh if you like this video that's also in the um, box below but if you like this video please hit the like button and if you'd like to subscribe to my uh, channel, please hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate you, and I will see you next week if you are watching the Super Bowl. Hope your team wins. And regardless if your team wins or not, I hope you're eating good food and enjoying friends and family. Bye-bye.